live broadcast. Yes, and today we're talking about something that's very, very close to my heart. Do you know what it is? Worms. Worms. Oh, man. If only you knew how great worms were. Oh, man. You'd pay rapt attention to this. Worms, right? Are a, they're not only man's best friend, right? Worms are a septic tank's best friend. Yes, that's right. Worms are amazing. Do you know what? Worms have been around for thousands and thousands of years, breaking down waste and, and matter into safe, clean, organic fertilizer that feeds the planet. You know, worms are amazing. You know, you know, eventually we even get eaten by worms. So I just wanted to show you, right, in today's live broadcast, the power, the power of worms, right? Have a look at this, right? Let me see if I can find my, my board rubber somewhere. Okay, here's my board rubber. Right, okay. So let me show you, <clears throat> if you're a septic tank owner or you're a dog owner, I'm going to show you how worms, right, can save you thousands and thousands of pounds. I'm going to show you how you can use worms to your advantage, right? Okay, so have a look at this. Okay, so if I just rub all this out, right? All right, so let me show you how worms can really help you. Have a look at this, right? So first of all, let me show you this, right? So here, this is a septic tank, all right? And as you know, can you see that on the screen here? I know it's a bit wonky, but uh, you know, let's just do that again, hold on. Let's do it a bit straighter, hold on. Oh, I don't know how much straighter that is. Is that a bit straighter? Well, you get the point, don't you? All right, so a septic tank will fill up, right? Septic tanks fill up with poo and wee and all kinds of other nasty bits of fat, grease and the sludge, right? And a lot of the fat and the grease builds up on the bottom of the septic tank here, just like so, right? Okay. So over time, that the fat, grease and sludge builds up on the bottom of the septic tank. So if I put there, look, fat, grease and sludge. All right. All right, there we go. There's fat, grease, and sludge. They're building up at the bottom of your septic tank, right? And it's not only that. There's something else called suspended solids. In the tank, you've got all these bits and bobs of horrible stuff. I mean, look, you go to the loo and you flush the loo because you want to get rid of stuff forever, right? All right, but it ends up in your tank. And all these little bits float around in your septic tank. It's true. But what I'm about to show you, okay, okay. So don't let this put off you, put you off your dinner or anything. I'm about to show you something really, really, really good, right? That will um, turn your septic tank into an organic composter. Have a look at this, right? All right. So these things, right? So all these bits are called suspended solids. All right. And they're the reason why you have to get your septic tank emptied every year, because all these solids, if you're not careful. So if I put here, if this is, you imagine this is the um, the inlet pipe coming in. And if I put on there, that's the outlet pipe going on, going on, going out. Right. So. All right. So there you go. So. What happens is over time, all the fats and the grease and the sludge build up inside your septic tank. And not only do they block up the septic tank, but they also make their way, right? All these suspended solids go into your soak away. Now, the soak away, um, if I put soak away there, look, soak away, there we go. Huh? Now, the soak away <coughs> is the most important part of your septic tank. It really is. Because if you imagine, where does all your water go? If you think about it, where does all your bath water go? Where's all your dishwasher water go? Where's your sink water go? Where's your toilet water go? Yes, it goes into there, but then it soaks away into your soak away. But what fat, grease and sludge do is that they block soakaways and septic tanks up. So you've only got three normal ways in, in which to get rid of all that fat grease and the sludge you can get the septic tank emptying man in he'll come in he'll charge you 200 quid and he'll suck all that out of your tank 
But then the next day, the next day after that, and the day after that, it all starts to fill up with poo and wee and sludge and horrible things again, right? So it's a very, very, very temporary solution, right? Option number two, occasionally you can get your, your, your lines or your pipes jetted, right? Jetted with high powered water. Do you know what I mean by that? Well, let me show you. This is what a jet looks like. It looks like that. And it's got an, a knob on like that. And it's got a thing there. And uh, it fires, fires really hard powered water down. You soak away pipes, but that won't clean you soak away out because what happens is when you fire hyper powered water down you soak away, it compresses all the fat and the grease and the sludge. So those are common ways in which people try and keep their septic tank and soak away pipes clean, but they just cost you money and they do more harm than good. So this is where, look, here we go. Look at this, right? So this is where, right, worms come in. Now that's a worm, right? You probably guessed that. So I'm just going to put worm here, look worm right there you go. and uh if i just show you this right so i can you see that worm on the yeah i love worms right i really really love worms right when i used to live in shropshire right i used to when i was about oh man i can remember when i was about five six or seven i used to sneak down to the bottom of the garden down the bottom of the garden was like a, a cast iron lid and i'd lift the lid up and i'd kind of look inside it Oh man, it'd be like something out of Indiana Jones. It'd be they'd been swarming with all these worms in there. Ah, oh, shut the lid again, and ooh, you know, it could be nightmares and stuff. But listen, as I got older, I realised that those worms that lived in there kept the septic tank clean. They ate all the fat and the grease and the sludge. I'm not kidding you. They're amazing, right? And so. Literally three or four years ago, <clears throat> um, uh, my dad said to me, why don't you start selling worms for people to put in their septic tanks? Because they'll eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge. You know, that is this is the main reason all this fat and the grease and the sludge causes, right? Causes 100% of septic tank problems. Oh, in fact, if I just get that out and put problems there, look. Right. Worms prevent and fix problems. Fat, grease, and sludge cause 100% of septic tank problems. Now, what do what do I mean by soak away worms? Well, have a quick look at this, right? Have a quick look at this. Let me just show you this, right? So bear with me. I'm still here. Hold on. Uh, where are we? There we go. If I just share the screen with you here, look. There you go. Oh, can you see that? So this is what I'm talking about. Now, let me open that. Oh. right so that's the worms i'm talking about they called i'm going to show you a little bit more about those in a minute but they're amazing so what happens really is you get a bucket i've got a bucket over there but i have to kind of can't be bothered to get it. but look you get a bucket of these worms which i'll show you about in a minute and you just literally take the lid off your septic tank and you tip these worms into your tank all right so you get a bucket of these worms right and the worms go into the septic tank just like so and they live in there and they fall to the bottom and they make their way into the fat and the grease and the sludge and they just eat everything they pick it clean if you think about it like i said before worms eat and even eat us when we're when we're dead and buried right they're the they're the cleaners of the earth you know you've got trees and you've got vegetation which are the lungs of the earth well, if you think about worms, right, they're the cleaners of the earth. They clean everything, right? right no, not there, look. Cleaners of, cleaners of the earth. And they are, they eat everything, everything that's disgusting and horrible. Them and maggots just eat everything and they pick it clean. So what they do, they live in the tank, right? And they eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge. So all this fat and the grease and the suspended solids, they eat it all. They clean up the septic tank. So what that means is if you imagine this, if you haven't got any fat and grease and sludge in your septic tank, you don't need to get it empty. Right. So, they, oh, man, people email me saying, oh, mate, you've saved me 400 quid a year on emptying costs and stuff like that. So you'll always get some deposits. Right. So then your poo and your wee and your fat and your grease and the sludge will still come in. Right. It'll still come in through here. Look. So you get all that and it will still pour into the 
and float on top and all that but the worms actually live in the tank and it's some people say to me oh you know i've heard that um worms drown they don't drown worms do not drown in liquid where there's oxygen present so for example if you imagine you've got a stagnant pond right uh, and, and everything dies in a stagnant pond the, the, the frogs die the been you know the, the lilies die um Everything dies, right? The boatman, you know, these little boatmen that skip on the water. Everything dies in a stagnant pod that stinks because there's no water going in and there's no water going out. Well, in a septic tank, it's like it's like a river. It's like it's like a little waterfall. But you've got all your water that comes in. So here's all the oxygen and all the, or, or everything that you pour in from your house, right? That's your inlet. And then the water, right? You get a relative displacement in here and then the rest of the water makes its way down into the soak away. So it's constantly been oxygenated. If that's a word, I'm pretty sure it's a word. Well, it's very close anyway, right? So it puts oxygen back in the water, right? And so that keeps the worms alive. So worms don't drown in water. I've seen it. You know, I've sell thousands of these worms to people and then and, and, and the testimony is they email me saying oh jason the worms are amazing mate and then their neighbors buy worms off me and then so so look so worms right are the cleaners of the earth so i'm just showing you this because it's a really inexpensive way in which you can um keep your septic tank serviced and maintained without having to spend two three four five six hundred quid a year on empty costs right and what's more than that, all these worms will then make it their way into your soakaway. Now, the soakaway is probably the most vulnerable part of a septic tank system because in a soakaway, it's made up of pipes and arteries. And just like you imagine if I just ate junk food all the time, imagine I just went to McDonald's all the time and ate loads of McDonald's and went to living Chinese and ate loads of Chinese, my cholesterol would go and it blocks up my arteries, right? And so, you know, it causes heart attacks, and I die and all that, you know, but, 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 but. so um, then you have to take beta blockers and you have to take aspirin to thin your blood and all that kind of stuff. Oh, well, imagine, right? That's exactly what happens to soak away pipes. After a while, all the fat and the grease and the sludge and the debris block all the arteries up. And, and that's why soak aways only have a lifespan of about 15 years. But, right? put some worms in there and uh, yes they'll live in the tank they'll go to the bottom they'll eat all the suspended solids but then they make their way into the um the soak away and they eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge they probably had like another flipping 50 60 70 years to the life of your soak away so whilst fat grease and sludge cause 100 percent of problems worms soak away worms in fact let me put it there let me put this here right i don't know if i've got enough space on there Soak away worms, right? Are the cleaners? They're the ones that are going to look after your septic tank. So let me show you this, right? Let me quickly show you this. Come over here, have a look at this, right? So, oh, if I go to here, look, if I show you this. All right, so here we go. Here's the soak away worms. So let me show you this, right? So this is what the worms look like. This is what the worms look like, okay? And, um, and there you go. That's what they look like. That's a guy putting a bucket of the worms into the tank. They then fall into the tank. Look at that. There they are on top of the tank. And they make their way through the fat and the grease and the sludge there. And that's what they look after. So look, before and after. So if you'd like to prevent septic tank problems, if you'd like to fix your septic tank problems, maybe you've got a block soak away, right? And um, you've been, oh, I don't know, blimey, I mean, you've been quoting three, four, five grand to replace your soak away. Please, 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 before you consider flaming replacing your soak away, try using soak away worms. They really, really do work. This isn't a sales pitch. I'm not making this broadcast because, you know, I want you to necessarily buy my stuff, but I'm just showing you an alternative way. You don't have to spend three, four, five thousand quid replacing your soak away. Worms are amazing. Do some research on soak away worms so there you go that was my tip of the day worms are amazing right not only are they the cleaners of the earth right but they're amazing they're a septic tank's best friend so listen thank you very much for watching my live broadcast today um i'll be back tomorrow with some more tips to save you money uh, to fix your problems and uh, if you want to see more of me then just go to septic tank tv 
Just type that in in Google and you'll see the uh, Septic Tank TV channel. We're live on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and all that kind of stuff. So listen, have a great one and I'll speak to you soon.